Hi. Did you know that the golden ratio, approximately 1.61803, appears in many natural phenomena? As a designer or artist, incorporating the golden ratio into your work is essential for achieving aesthetically pleasing, proportional, and naturally relatable designs or artwork. In this tutorial, we will create golden ratio squares, circles, and the Fibonacci spiral to form a golden ratio diagram, which can serve as a guide for future design projects. First, activate the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. In the dialog box that appears, set both the height and width to the same value. In this example, we'll use 500 pixels, then confirm. Open the Properties tab. If you don't see it, go to Window, Properties. Set the fill color to none and the stroke color to black at one point. Next, right click the square and go to Transform Scale. In the Uniform box, enter the formula 100% divided by 1.61803. Then click Copy. Create additional duplicates using the same transformation by pressing Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Mac as many times as needed. In this example, we need five more copies to complete the golden ratio diagram. Activate the ellipse tool and click on the artboard. In the dialog box that appears, set both the height and width to match the first square. Click OK. Right click the circle and go to Transform, Scale. In the uniform box, Enter the formula 100% divided by 1.61803 and click Copy. Then create five more duplicates using the same transformation formula by pressing Ctrl D or Command D five times. Now, we'll align the circles proportionally to the squares using the alignment tools. Select the largest square, hold Shift, and select the largest circle. Release the Shift key then click the square again to set it as the key object. In the Properties tab, click both the Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center icons. Move the first pair to the left side of the artboard. Repeat this process for the remaining square circle pairs. But before you snap the next pair, go to View, Enable Smart Guides, and Disable All Snap Functions. This will make it easier to snap each pair side by side. Align the second pair to the right side of the first pair until you see the horizontal and vertical intersect indicators, confirming a perfect alignment. Repeat the process for the remaining shapes by following this example. Once you've completed the diagram, select all elements, group them, and center them. To make the next steps clearer, consider hiding the circles temporarily. Activate the ellipse tool, create a circle, then switch to the direct selection tool. Click on one anchor point and press Delete. Select another anchor point and press Delete again, leaving only a quarter circle. Use the selection tool to snap one end of the curve to the corner of the first square and the other end to the opposite corner. Now right-click the curve and go to Transform, Rotate. Set the angle to negative 90 degrees, then click Copy. Repeat the snapping and rotating process for each new duplicate until the spiral is complete. To create a continuous spiral line instead of separate curves, open the Layers panel and hide the Golden Ratio Diagram group. Activate the Direct Selection tool, select two adjacent curve segments, 
and connect their endpoints using the join function. Repeat until all curve segments are connected. And that's how you create a golden ratio diagram in Illustrator. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.